Hello guys, and welcome to episode 84 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough, playing as Ikit Claw, leading Clan Scryer to world domination. Today we're going to be continuing after taking out Malekith and taking Dreadrock. So, I'm not sure there's much more to do this turn. Uh, it looks like most of our armies are moved. We'll just finish up this turn and we'll move on to the next one. Unassigned skill points. No, this one's a plague is. priest over here in Brom's army. No malice detected. Don't think it matters too much what we give him. I'm just going to max out his tenacity, I think. Another unassigned yeah, skill no. point, this time for stretch in Lamia. Knows who his boss is. Let's go for earthing. And then we have all our heroes to move, so let's do that. Uh, this guy can try and assault the units of these armies. I don't think he's going to do too well. But we will see. Galpite can head up. Remember Mute is coming across. And so is Mechanigear. Is that everything? Oh, just commandments, right? Public order is definitely required here. Although, that's only conquest for next turn, isn't it? Let's do exploitative planning. Settlement upgrade available for Bordelo. Okay, looks like we're just into spending money. I don't really want to spend money that much, so we'll just skip through all of this. And move on to the next turn. That's a lot of notifications, huh? We know that's going to rebel. This is just cinnamon upgrades again. Okay, let's do dominate scheme. Extra food per turn and public order. That will help us out quite a bit. Let's move on. So there shouldn't really be much to watch out for in the end of the turn. I can probably forget about that army, that Black Ark army. Not really going to do anything. I guess the only thing it could do is maybe take back any coastal provinces on the islands. Followers of Nagash. Oh, might be able to kill that army. Maybe we start our war with Nagash this turn. Possibly. Something to think about at least. Binosotex dwarves are destroyed. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's Clan Pestilence nearby who did that. Because obviously I didn't do that. Uh, that's a good thing. That's really good. <laughs> really nice. I'll punish in a less subtle way. Great. Means I don't have to chase down that army. Cool. Let's go uh, deal with the Sentinels of Zeti. We'll go ahead and hit the Chamber of Visions. No one there. Thank you very much. Occupy that. Reliability rating is still very low. Please just take all of my money. <laughs> I'm going to keep saving until they say yes. <laughs> going to be a ridiculous amount required, but no oh well. Now, Icky Claw is actually going to get some replenishment now, which is nice. Whilst we're catching up there. Um, Olsess can continue over here. Not that he's really required, but... Yeah, might as well. Rom's going to take Nagra with the help of Infectique. I'm gonna jump in in there. Vengeance. 
Fantastic. And we're also just going to run up and attack the Palace of Ruin. Is there anything I can do here? Assault Garrison. There we go. Perfect. I did, like, absolutely nothing really, but... I can pretend I use heroes. Well, the Agol Wastelands is ours. That's nice. Go ahead and put another Rattling Warren in there. I really need to sort out the uh, corruption. Alright, Vermich can come down. I might keep Tretch in there. Transform can take Ashrak. So many settlements taken already this episode. It's kind of crazy. Okay, and we're going to take this one. Master Engineer. New Lovely. Destroy that so I can put in the Rattling Warrens and we'll do explosive planning. That is all of the northern provinces taken except from Nagron, which is going to blow up in six turns. <laughs> okay. Next up, let's see who it is. It's going to be Arkstorm. So there must be an army here. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, there is. It's not very big, but that's where it is. I'm going to move here. We're going to ambush. And maybe we'll catch him out. Holotol does have walls, but might get attacked by Clan Pestilence. Acorn. Do I need to zoom back? Probably not. I'll take that. Thank you very much. I just kind of YOLO rolled that. Because I didn't want to have to deal with the annoying rebellion there. And that means that ACOM can zoom on down and help us out if need be. Uh, over to Faderif. Faderif's following this army. Stretch. I guess is heading down with Brom. So let's head to Marak. And then he can start getting in a position to hit Granite Massive. That's going to be an important take. Okay, on to Pustich. So, I probably want to get to Shattered Stone Isle as quickly as possible. So, as much as I'd like to replenish, I think attacking that sooner than later is the best idea. If I don't misclick, okay. It's fine, there's not an army there, so it's not a big deal that I misclicked. Attacking this army could be a good idea. Starting the war with the followers of Nagash. This doesn't even have wars, so that's an easy take. That's an easy fight. We declare war on them. And this is Arkan himself. I play it out. It's easy peasy. Let's go. And taking out Arkan right away is actually really nice. So this is perfect, really. I'm going to have to have my Warp Block Gisales focus him. I could also shoot the Hex Wraiths, I guess. 
But I think I might shoot the hex rays with the warp lightning cannons. Okay. Let's do this. Have these like sort of on the flanks. I'm gonna have both the rattling guns in the center. Okay, good. Start the deployment, start the battle. Have these target Arkan. These target the hex rays. And these can just target uh, whatever the most valuable unit is in the center. There aren't really many. Arkans already nearly a goner. Okay. Uh, let's now target these on range forces. Absolutely carving these guys. That's ridiculous. Those cripples are very dead. Well, they actually put that Ashapti into the middle of our line there. They're killing off my warp block to sails. My clan rats dying. But something worse died. Ready, ready. Very good, master. Attack! Shot! Walk up, Jetiles! Ready to kill, kill! Oh, yeah, let's take out those sex rays. be great. Okay, they just completely disintegrated. I think their whole army is about to disintegrate. Yep, there it goes. Pop. Goodbye. Arkin didn't even have a say. He was dead before he knew it. The Hex Ray surprisingly got some kills. I guess one of them was probably just clan rats that we spawned. The other one on the left, I did, did get into melee combat sooner than later. That's, that's good. Alright, let's take the food. Extra diplomatic relations with the Team Kings after that and uh, weapon strength. Alright. I'll have to come and take Sorcerer's Islands from them. Knows who his boss is. Let's grab Dead Eye. Master Assassin. And yeah, I want to destroy this army as well. I forbid this. Warlock Master. This one's gonna continue through. Are these still depleted? Yeah, they've made these armies way smaller because of my previous efforts. So there is a very good opportunity for me to just take the Black Pyramid and open the Ash this turn. Okay, 
I don't actually have as much artillery as I'd like, though. Okay, we could do declare war here. Let's do it. They're going to have all their reinforcements. The one we have to worry about is the Camry Moor Sphinx here and the uh, Necro Sphinx. But this army should be able to hold and the reinforcements will come in behind us, I think. So... I'm just going to grab maybe a couple more minutes below so I can deal with the Screaming Skull Catapult. That is it. Let's go. And this should annihilate pretty much every army these guys have. These doom wells are perfect for destroying skeletons. But yeah, the plan is to just set up a lovely defensive line uh, and just watch them fall over dead. Alright, start the battle. Get my reinforcements in. Cornering myself like this might not be a good idea. I'm not going to worry about it too much, though. I guess it's fine for the most part. Got the legendary barrage. All right, well, there we go. I'm to engage. We'll take out their leaders. I'm gonna snipe their tomb king. These Plague Lord catapults can hit the spearmen as they come in. And we'll engage the Nehakara horsemen there. I'm going to get my Doom Wells to go and help out with that. Hitting their Tomb King directly with this Warp Lightning Cannon. Uh, been quite a lot of work. I am going to have to pay attention to where they spawn the Ashabdi. It'll probably be on my Warp Block to so I'm going to move my Doom Wheel there preemptively. If I have to, I can engage this guy, but I think he's probably just gonna... What is going on there with the dodging? That is hilarious. Like, sped up. Good. 
I'm just watching these skeletons melt is just gorgeous. It really is. And they managed to get a Tomb King in here. That's fine, I can turn these actually to just fire that Tomb King. Okay, time for the artillery to look at this lot. Oh, isn't it just tempting to drop a warp storm doom wreck on that? It'd be a waste. So, not gonna do it, but. Oh, look at all that point blank shots. I think that's all of their leaders dead. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and turn these around. Killing their leader, I think, is going to make them spread out. Yeah. Because they're going to create a normal battle line now. Kind of annoying, I would have preferred if they'd stayed together. Drop a unit in the middle, see what happens. See if they converge on it. Might make them hesitate. These are actually uh, quite high level units. Yeah, a bit too close for comfort. Take out that Cameron War Sphinx. That's important. Or well, the uh, the next Sphinx is on this side. Cameron War Sphinx dead. Focus on killing the Necro Sphinx. Okay, good. Let's drop some magic. that through them. Okay, let's get the warp block to Zales now to target ranged units. Or maybe kill that priest actually, it's not a bad idea. Now move. Move, move. 
Good. Managed to deal with that wave. Now the next wave is upon us. Mashabti on their way. What am I close to losing here? That's fine. Ah, well, there we go. They're all going to crumble anyway. Just gonna have these warp boxes there. I was targeting the Ashabti further back. Not that it's gonna matter. They're all dead. Wow. What a battle that was. <laughs> Just the wave upon wave of skeletons. <laughs> awesome. Absolutely awesome. I love those battles. Loads of kills for those play claw catapults. Absolutely tons. Okay. Yeah, almost 400 kills apiece. The artillery, almost. Take that money, thank you very much. Take that pyramid, thank you very much. Gonna occupy it at level 5. Let's do it. Straight in there. <laughs> what can we create? The Vault of Nagash. Plus 20% corruption. I don't know if we can afford to build that because we need our own uh, corruption here. We'll definitely repair that. I'm going to have to build this for, for my own corruption. Most of these buildings do give me corruption. Let's demolish that one. Repair that. We'll demolish that for now. Okay. Oh, there we go. That is victory against the Sentinels. The plague worked perfectly on them. It really did. So, time for War Protect to take out this army. Ooh. Uh, that shouldn't have been auto resolved. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> that sucks. Well, I'll take the food, but yeah, that was big, big oof. <laughs> I lost two doom wells and a help abomination in the auto resolve. <laughs> really? God, that is rough. Alright, well, we'll just replace it for the time being with some Skaven slaves, I guess. I can actually do with some warp locked Gisales here. Do I even need this army? That's a good question, actually. Probably not. I think there was another army that was heading in this direction. Some of these might get hit. Oh, 
Pra você. Let's go ahead and keep up with these fellas. Get that replenishment in there. From did level up. That's from taking Negra. It's that. Infect he can also level up. Gonna make him corruptive. So we can boost that corruption a little bit more. Over to Staden. Yes, yeah, Staden can just head down. I'm gonna head towards the Springs of Eternal Life. Also, it's gonna take Libaris. Secured the province. Straight into explosive planning, please. And Warlock. Engineer Augmented Weapon, that'll do. Okay, next up is Snitch. Snitch is gonna jump over to Karak Asgaraz, and next time we'll just attack and kill them. Queek is gonna zoom over here and try and keep up as well. Staden can just be booted. It's fine. Watch your back, tail. And over to Toxidon. New army ready to go. And come and attack Buck Blackthorn. Or just move close, he'll probably attack us next turn. This is a pretty mean army, but should this should be able to deal with it. Knows who his boss is. The tail weapon there. Elquint can try and get us some more warp fuel. And Ulcest actually could be used to deal with the public water here. Not a bad idea. Exploitative planning everywhere, please. That needs public order. And an upgrade. Let's go through it from public order. Just so that I'm making sure that I'm sorting this out. That's plus two. <laughs> Need to upgrade these for sure. That does increase scaven corruption, doesn't it? I think that gives even more. I actually give scaven corruption in adjacent provinces, so I'm gonna get a box cauldron. I don't want to do this too much. Like I said, I just need to make sure that I'm getting some good public order in here. Also, these buildings are really cheap anyway, so it's not a big deal. Okay, I'll leave it at that because I want to save cash to, for the diplomacy. So now we're down to Warp Attack. He's still heading down this way. Zap Spark. Also down this way. More more still chilling out around here. Remy me. I don't know about these two. It doesn't really matter where they end up now. Vermich, however, can assault units. 
No malice detected. That might help us out a little bit in the long run if I keep doing it. Okay, time to click through the settlement upgrade notifications. And there we go. Let's move on to the next turn. Right, the last defenders, they've got Krokgar heading towards Kalagorud. They've got Graul heading south. That's good though, because they've like split up their armies now. When they were all together like that, it would have made them quite difficult to attack, but now we don't have to bother. Are they gonna take the Great Arena back? Okay. That's fine. Oh they sacked it. It's fine by me. Don't want it. Right, that army, I surely I can catch up to it. Right, they're going to take Gorgazan. Alright. That's fine. They sacked it. Okay. That's fine. That's, that's brilliant, actually. Because they didn't take it. If they'd take, taken it, it would have been way worse. I mean, they might just go through and sack all of that crap. Sentinel Zeti really aren't that much of a problem. They're going to start with the assault there. That's fine. And this was the battle I expected. Okay, here we go. And the fact they're attacking me is actually even better. Uh, charge bonus can go on to these fine fellas. And I'll probably put it on my assassin as well. Going to grab some menace below and we'll jump on in. So priorities for sniping will probably be the giant slayers. Really nice open map for us. I'm probably going to fall back. The longer I can shoot them, the better. I'm going to put them both on the left side there because the trees might get in the way. I'm gonna leave my assassin here. New victim. <laughs> what? What? Clan Spire. Warlock engineer. Okay, I'll do. Start the battle. I'm hoping they kind of leave their organ guns behind. I really don't need to be focusing on that. I need to have these focus probably on the iron breakers. Anything that's going to be tough to cut down. Also, that's hitting the giant snares behind. Doing plenty of damage to those organ guns. Uh, this needs to target the slayers and the giant slayers. I need to have a warp block to Zales, can probably finish off the iron dregs, that's fine. But I really do need to kill off those giant slayers. Gun. 
Okay. Plan to do a lot of damage to these slayers, which is great. Oh, we can engage those long beards easy enough. Again, the long beard's there, we can easily engage them. These plague monks and sparrows are actually really good against these kinds of troops. I think I just got to engage these now, and then we're all good. I'm going to engage their organ guns over there. Not quite sure what happened to these ones. Uh, maybe we just friendly fired them to death. I don't know. I feel like that might have been the case. We're going to want to do as much damage as we can here. Those iron breakers are taking every piece of artillery to the base. No chance. Oh, I've really got to go and run down these long beers. I think they're the only other unit that is there. That's like oversized that won't get a, or will get away. I think those thunders might be enough actually, but we'll make sure we kill off these long beards. Good, that'll do. Very nice battle. Good target priority. When you can melt an army with that much federancy, and barely take any losses, it just shows you how strong Skaven is. I guess if you were playing the dwarves yourselves though, you'd probably have more artillery, so you'd probably be able to do the same back to any other faction but yeah we'll take the food there and they are still alive if that's the unit of thunderers I'm going to be annoyed <laughs> we can always kill them off next turn though and another army's on its way which we can intercept as well alright well there we go damaged walls over here at Lamia Gorgazan was sacked and we've got to deal with the siege over here. 
But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So next time around, we'll finish off the Sentinels for good. We'll start to hunt down King Menka here. We'll take the Wizard Kalos Palace. We'll take probably Sorcerer's Islands as well. We need to go back and kind of like defend at Kofa against King Ramiket. But otherwise, yeah, it's going pretty damn well. Uh, Triven of Mordheim here does actually need to move. I think I forgot to move him last turn. Oh, we're also going to be attacking and wiping out the Crooked Moon, so we'll do that as well. But that's it for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,